There's 104 days of summer vacation And school comes along just to end it So the annual problem for our generation Is finding a good way to spend it Like maybe Building a rocket or fighting a mummy Or climbing up the Eiffel Tower Discovering something that doesn't exist hey. Or giving a monkey a shower Surfing tidal waves Creating nanobots or locating Frankenstein's brain It's over here! Finding a dodo bird, painting a continent, or driving our sister insane. Idiot. As you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff to do before school starts this fall. Come on, Barry! So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. Mom! Phineas and Ferb are making a title sequence. Behold! Feast your eyes upon the fashion of the future. Hey, Candace, what you watching? Only the latest look from the world's greatest fashion designer, Gaston Lamode. I don't get it. Why would anyone want to wear such goofy-looking clothes? It's not goofy. Fashion designers create art that people live in. Hmm. I never thought of it that way. Verb, put the cold fusion reactor on hold. I know what we're going to do today. As part of my world tour, I, Gaston Lemode, will be at the Googleplex Mall today. Stacy, I know what we're gonna do today. <laughs> one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. Agent P, you're early. Carl, cut to close up. Well, uh, basically, Doofenshmirtz has been acting up again. He's uh, stockpiling the usual strange and unrelated items. This time it's copy machines and ink cartridges by the thousands. We need you to find out what's going on right away. Okay, Ferb. If we're gonna tackle this fashion design thing, we've gotta do something really special. It has to be cool, comfortable, and undetectable by radar. Something that absolutely screams summer. Ah, I think you're onto something, Ferb. Hey, Phineas. What you doing? Ferb and I are working on designs for our new clothing line. Take a look at what we've got so far. Very impressive. Need any help? The Fireside Girls and I are trying to get our sewing badges. Excellent. Let's go. Forever Summer. something, mister. I break through walls whenever I want. There you go. Oh, and one more thing. Oh, look. I have captured the rare duct tape platypus. <laughs> you know, like duck build. Never mind. Anyway, let me show you my evil plan. I call it the copy and pastinator. There is nothing I hate more than waiting in line. All the time wasted at stores and amusement parks when I could be spreading more evil in the tri-state area. I will make copies of myself, and they will do the waiting for me. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but look, you're all tied up. And I'm stepping into a giant copy machine to make duplicates of myself. Who's crazy now? There it is. The world famous runway of Gaston Lamode. Oh, Stacy, can you imagine the glamorous life of a supermodel? Hi, I'm Candace. I'm sure you recognize me from my countless magazine covers. You know, being a supermodel is hard work. The bright lights, the deafening applause, and all those paper cuts from counting my huge stacks of money. That's why I start every morning with Candace O's. Candace O's, part of a nutritious breakfast. Candace? What? Candace O's? <sighs> I really shouldn't fantasize on an empty stomach. <gasps> Finally, after years of bitter struggle, I, Gaston de Mode, have created the ultimate design, the Ne Plus Ultra in haute couture. But 
Alas, I cannot find a single model with a neck long enough to complement my design. Sorry, Gaston, but only someone with a freakishly long neck could fit into this. Yes, everyone is sorry. Where will I find that swan-like neck? Pardon, monsieur. I have great news. Is Jerry Lewis Marathon on TV tonight? I wish. But no, better yet, I have found her. Hi. Look at this. Mon Dieu. It is perfection. You are my coup de crayon. Your coup de crayon? <gasps> cool! Allez, allez, let's get you to makeup. I think I just tanned my eyeballs. <clears throat> now, with the push of a button, I will make history! <laughs> By the way, do you like my mural? I did it myself. It's a silhouette of me going, ah! <laughs> All right, let's see now. Oop. Needs a little more toner. Mm -hmm. Oh, copy jam. Uh. Why is it when people copy their butts, it comes out perfect? We're almost ready. Now let me see. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Oh, I thank you. Now, wait right here while I introduce you to the crowd. Package for Gaston Lamode. Is it a poster of Jerry Lewis? I wish. All right, all right, but this better be important. Ooh, gasp! This design is comfortable, cool, and undetectable by radar. It absolutely screams summer! This isn't new. I've seen this before. Do you know who designed it? We did, sir. It's part of the Phineas and Ferb Summer All the Time collection. Say magnifique! What are you guys doing here? It's all thanks to you, Candace. We thought fashion design was lame. But you convinced us to give the glamour world a chance. But, 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 but... Mademoiselle Candace, there has been a change in plans. You will put this on. S'il vous plaît. I, I, I... Or you could wear these. Not in this life. Sayonara, amigo. I am so telling mommy you guys are so blessed. I'm okay. But, Mademoiselle... Sigh. Okay, ladies. Time to get changed and strut your stuff. Thank, Thank you, you, Gaston. Ladies and gentlemen, I... Gaston Lemode, I'm proud to present this stunning new collection, Summer All the Time. And give a big hand to the designer. My latest discovery, Phineas and Ferb. Our designs have really caught on. Everyone who is anyone is now wearing summer all the time. Not a bad morning's work. Nice outfit, handsome. You are on fire. When mom hears about this... Hey, wait a minute. Where did you get those outfits? These? Why, they're only the latest hit designs from the Summer All the Time collection. Everybody's wearing them. I mean, geez, where you been? Phineas and Ferb, the kings of couture? That was fast. Candace. There you are. Stacy? You left your cell phone and your clothes in there? <gasps> Stacy? You too? You look just like Ferb. Wow, thanks, Candace. Most of this is a genuine label, but the shoes are total knockoffs. I heard there's a riot uptown at this one store that got a fresh shipment. I gotta run before they sell out. Bye. Oh, and Candace, friendly tip. That Gaston stuff is so 42 seconds ago. Ugh. You see, Barry the Platypus, a whole army of doofenshmirtzes. Perfect copies of me. Hiya, handsome. Right back at you, fella. You, here, go get me some corn dogs. Sure thing. You, fetch me some movie tickets. You, bet your bridges. Then you, go ride that new roller coaster a couple of times, OK? Okie dokie. Oh, me too. Go, go, my facsimiles. Go wait in line so that I never have to. You, What's fun? Ooh, what's fun? Oh, I landed in a puddle. Look at the puppy. Oh, designer shoes. glasses for 10 bucks. What a deal. Hey, do you see what these people are wearing? Some kind of retro pharmacist outfit. I feel so two minutes and five seconds ago. Hey, let's get back in style. Now I have two. Aren't they adorable? How about you jump and fetch me something too, huh? Something like... Your doom! Hey, don't hurt the little bunny rabbits! How did you get out of the trash, you dropout bohemian? I'll be right back. I've got some deleting to do. That's right, tremble, my rejected friend. Oh no! I pushed the delete all button by mistake! Look 
what you made me do! Oh, guess who's paying for this? What is this? Hey, why did you jump out that? Oh, you clever little black... Ah! Well, that wasn't very bright! That was a fun... Crazy? Ooh, I think I'm looking at it. Look, Mom, you see? So you dragged me all the way down here for a pharmacist convention? Face it, Mon Ami. Your designs are so three minutes and 37 seconds ago. Oh, well, we had a great time. Hey, Gaston, what's with the new outfit? Are you kidding? No one's claiming this look yet. I have to get out in front of this thing and take credit for it all. That's how you stay ahead in this business, kid. Au revoir! Well, Phineas, I still like your style. Thanks. Hi, Mom. Oh, look, we're all here. Why don't we all get some lunch? I think there's a pizza place right over there. Oh, there you are, Perry. Yeah, go ahead. Eat all you want. My dreams are smashed to pieces and all you can think of is food. Well, just remember, Gaston said I'll always be his coup de crayon. You do realize that that's French for pencil neck. Okay, Isabella, say ah. ah. Oh, good. The swelling has gone down dramatically. I'll be back to check on you soon. So, Isabella, what you doing? Oh, just recovering. But I finally got my tonsillectomy badge. We just came by to cheer you up and to see if you're feeling well enough to go on with our event. Sorry, guys. My throat still hurts like crazy. That's cool. Sorry, gang. We've got to postpone the Trojan War reenactment till further notice. You know, the best part of getting your tonsils out is that you get to eat all the ice cream you want. Really? Mountains of it. You could have the biggest ice cream sundae ever made. Herb, I know what we're going to do today. First, we got to drop some plans. Wait, no time for that. You go to Blueprint Heaven. I'll head home to meet the delivery guy. Hello? Blowtorch City? Yeah, I'll hold. When are they letting you out of this joint? This afternoon. Perfect. We should have just enough time. So, I'm going out, Vanessa. Remember, you're at your dad's this weekend. Great. A whole 48 hours of evil. Vanessa Doofenshmirtz, your father is not evil. We just didn't get along. We wanted different things. Was one of those things to be evil? Because he's evil. He's not evil, honey. No one's evil. No, Mom, he's evil. You don't know this about him? He has evil schemes. Normal people don't have schemes of any kind. And then there's a secret agent that always bursts in and- I think you're being overly dramatic. Mom, I'm not being dramatic. Dad builds evil contraptions every day. Wait, let me check on something. Yep, he's even got his own evil jingle right on his answering machine. Listen. Hello? Oh, hello, Heinz. Dad, why'd you pick up? You always let the machine get it. Well, I heard it ring the first time, so I was standing right by the phone. Oh, by the way, could you pick up some blueprints for me on your way over? Thank you, sweetie. Oh, great. Now he wants me to pick up some evil blueprints for his latest evil contraption. And as soon as he's done building it, I'll have proof. I'll call you and you can see for yourself. So, you need plans to build a giant ice cream sundae maker, do you? I'm not sure we sell blueprints for that anymore. Whoa! Hold on, sweetie. No need to get upset. I'll go check in the back, okay? Okay, let's see. Giant Sunday machine. I got a yogurt machine. How'd that sound? Yeah, I don't care for yogurt either, baby. I'll keep looking. You're in luck. I found one. Now, what do you need, sweetie? I'm here to pick up an order for Doofenshmirtz. Oh, yes. Your daddy just called. Hey, how's it going? Can you bring it back here? Thanks, that's great. You're not gonna believe this, Stacy. But when I turned around, Jeremy was standing right behind me. Well, actually he was sitting and he was a couple blocks away, but he was right there. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Okay, stop. Great, stack them over here. Um, Stace, I'm gonna have to call you back. And that's the last of it. I uh, just need you to sign right here and... Say, aren't you a little... Young to be using titanium plating and an industrial arc welder? Yes, yes I am. I get that a lot. Phineas, you know I'm in charge, right? Well, isn't that just if a satellite crashes into the... No, no, no. When Mom's at her cooking class, I'm in charge. Now, what are you up to out here? I'd like to tell you, but it's gonna be a big surprise. Hey, wait a second. Have you seen Perry? <laughs> Ah! 
Sorry to wake you, Agent P. Looks like Doofenshmirtz is getting sloppy. He sent his daughter right into our sting operation and purchased blueprints for a space lasinator. We intended to pass him fake plans, but due to a rookie error, and by rookie I mean Carl. Sorry, my bad. The plans he received are real. Terrifyingly real. Again, I must apologize. I was in character. You better step and... on it, Agent P. Before it's too late. Can you give me a hand in packing this stuff, Candace? I'm not gonna help you, but as soon as I figure out what you're up to, I'm calling Mom. Okay, say hi for me. Bonjour, class. Today, we'll be making crepes. Goodbye. Candace, is everything all right? Well, if you don't even know what he's doing, how do you know if it's a problem? <clears throat> is there something you would like to share with the whole class? Sorry, sir. Candace, I'll talk to you later, okay? <clears throat> I'm keeping an eye on you. Hey, Ferb, you got the blueprints? Excellent. Isabella's gonna love it. Perry the Platypus, you're, you're early. I haven't even started yet. My, my daughter should be here any minute with the blueprints, though. Oh, there she is. Good morning, Vanessa. You remember Perry the Platypus? Yeah, hi. Perry the Platypus, why don't you have a seat in my waiting area? Read some magazines. Sorry they're all in Spanish. I, I steal them from my neighbor. You know, evil never rests. So, Dad, this plan, it's evil, right? Oh, yes, yes, it is. It's nice to see you taking an interest in the family business. That's all I need to know. I'm in class now, Vanessa. I have to go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Vanessa, I'll leave my phone on. Teenagers. Ugh. What are we making this week? I think it's crepes, but, you know, I can't understand his accent. I can see the things you're doing And you think that I'm naive But when I get the goods on you She'll finally believe She says it's all just drama But every bubble's got to pop She's gonna see just what you're doing And then you're finally gonna have to stop Don't think you're gonna win this time Cause you better believe I'm gonna drop a dime on you I'll get ya Oh, Perry the Platypus! It's finally ready! Too bad you can do nothing but watch as I prepare to launch my Space Laser Predator! Wow, I bet that thing must be really evil, huh? Vanessa, take a look out that window and tell me what you see. Uh, not much. Exactly! Ever since that stupid billboard went up, my panoramic view is completely ruined. I used to have this perfect vantage point for enjoying the delicious misery of others. Oh, man! Oh, man! You owe $78,000. Oh, man! But after I launch this baby into orbit, my problem will be solved. Then I can go on to eliminate all the other annoyances that make my skin crawl. Like, uh, nature! Beauty! Morning talk show host! Soon there will be nothing that can withstand the wrath of Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz! Doctor? Since when are you a doctor? They don't just give these out to anybody, you know. Anybody with 15 bucks, they do. That's enough looking. I'd love to debate you, but I have some pressing business to take care of. Like remaking the tri-state area in my own twisted image. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is worse than I thought. Oh, Dad is going to be so busted. Now we carefully pour the batter. Slowly, slowly. For Pete's sake. Vanessa. Candace, this better be important. He's doing what, honey? Are you sure you're not exaggerating just a little bit? Well, it's not that I don't believe you, honey. But it... Every time I race home, I find out everything is just fine. Yes, I'll be right over. I'm on my way. Teenagers, tell me about it. Now to launch my creation and begin my 
my reign of terror! Evil terror. Well, this got to be right. Get ready for a giant Sunday. Well, this can't be right. Let me see those blueprints. Oh, wait a minute. Those are the plans for a space laser. A nader, apparently. I was wondering what that thing was for. That must be the laser. It's a good thing we didn't attach it, huh? Mom, Mom, hurry. Come on, come on. Hi, kids. How are you doing? Huh? We're just about to make a nice handmade sundae for Isabella. Oh, that is so sweet. Come on in the kitchen. I'll help you with it. Uh, come on, Mom, hurry! See? Evil, I told you! Hmm. Uh, that's not evil, dear. A bit much, perhaps. Heinz, what is all this? I thought you were lactose intolerant. I am! <laughs> oh. I'm paying you way too much alimony. And what's over there? That is no way to treat your pet. But Mom, that's a secret agent. A secret agent? He's just a little platypus. They don't do much, you know. Wow, guys, this is amazing. I was afraid you guys were gonna go overboard and build some giant Sunday contraption or something. Actually, we were gonna do that, but we accidentally built a space laser instead. Ferb, you're usually so focused. How'd you get those plans confused? Hey, how's it going? Hey, Ferb, snap out of it. What happened back there? I was weak. There's a new cop on the beat, and I'm bringing down the heat. My eyes are wise to all your lies, cause you're not that discreet. And I don't care what you heard, cause there's one six letter word. It's gonna set me free.